Welcome to part two of the GoPixel first time user video series, helping you get started using GoPixel on a G2000 series line profile sensor. This video demonstrates how to use the alignment wizard and we will walk you through how to acquire a surface scan. To get the most out of this video, download the following files to be able to follow along with the steps in the video. Aligning your sensor. Aligning your sensor or sensor group is much easier in GoPixel using the alignment wizard. In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform stationary alignment with a single sensor in GoPixel. Note that you must save your job file before you can begin alignment. Navigate to the system category, then click on the alignment page. If you do not have a sensor connected, watch the first GoPixel first time user video. Ensure you have a flat surface under your sensor before beginning alignment. Click the Align Sensor button to begin the alignment wizard. If you have not yet saved a job, you will be prompted to do so. Select the alignment type. We will demonstrate stationary alignment since it is the simplest alignment method to get you started right away. Advanced alignment, such as aligning multiple sensors, may require a different alignment type. Select target type. In this demonstration, we will select flat. Again, ensure you have a truly flat surface directly under your sensor during the alignment process. Click next. And click done when alignment is successfully completed. Acquiring a surface scan. Follow along as we walk through how to set up acquisition settings for a surface scan. Navigate to the system category. Click on the alignment page. You will have to find your encoder resolution if you are using your own transport system. We are demonstrating with an LMI linear demonstration stage. Therefore, we will input encoder resolution at 0.00134 millimeters per tick. If you want to use time as a trigger, you must make sure to match speed to your scan bit speed. Navigate to the inspect category. Click on the scan page. The scan page controls your global scan settings, meaning if you have multiple sensors, this controls all sensors together as a single sensor group system. Sensor group properties, by their nature, would have to apply to all sensors in a group. For example, you cannot have one sensor in profile scan mode and another in surface scan mode. Scan mode allows you to select whether to acquire an image, profile, or surface scan. Image mode is used for diagnosing exposure and examining spots, for example, data points closely. Profile mode acquires a 3D profile scan of your target. This can be done with a stationary or moving target. Surface mode acquires a 3D surface scan of your target. Your target must be in motion for this. Acquire intensity allows you to select whether to acquire intensity values that can be overlaid over the surface scan data points. Enable uniform spacing is the resampling of your data points. Note that most measurement tools cannot be used if uniform spacing is turned off. When surface mode is selected, surface generation settings are available. Surface generation settings control the size of the generated 3D scan. Try using fixed length to begin with, ensuring that the length you input is less than the travel distance of your target under the sensor. Trigger settings are responsible for synchronizing your sensor with your scan stage or conveyor belt. Time should be used if you do not have an encoder on your scan bed and know the speed of movement. Encoder should be used if your scan bed has an encoder and you know the value. External input and hardware triggers are available, however, these are more advanced settings that should be left to a system integrator. We generally recommend using an encoder to generate surface scans when possible. Active area allows you to crop out areas in the sensor field of view and omit them from being scanned. Note that active area cannot be applied when the sensor is running. Exposure determines the duration of camera and light source on time. Subsampling and advanced settings 
are more advanced than we will cover in this job aid. Please reach out to LMI for help with these settings. Transform is the same panel found in the alignment page. It has been duplicated here for quick reference while adjusting scan settings. Click on the Scan Mode tab to expand the panel. Select Surface Scan. At this point, you can optionally turn on Acquire Intensity by flipping the toggle. We recommend enabling uniform spacing because all of the measurement tools we'll be adding rely on uniform spacing. Go to the trigger panel, select encoder as a source if you're using a transport system equipped with an encoder. We recommend using an encoder whenever possible. If you are using time as a trigger, ensure that you have matched your transport system speed in the alignment page. With encoder as a trigger, set spacing to 0.06 millimeters as a starting point. After the first scan, adjust this value up or down depending on your desired spacing between your y-axis data points. A good rule of thumb for setting the minimum encoder trigger spacing for any transport system is to use the following equation. Minimum encoder trigger spacing equals stage travel speed over max frame rate. This will find your minimum trigger spacing value, combining as many profiles together as possible to make the highest resolution surface scan possible. We recommend you start with this value and increase incrementally by 0.01 millimeters until you find the right spacing for your application. Note that your minimum trigger spacing may result in a trigger drop, meaning that it will force your sensor to try to trigger faster than possible. To resolve this trigger drop, increase your trigger spacing by 0.01 millimeters and try again. Set surface generation type to fixed length. Leave start trigger as sequential. Input the expected length of your scan area. Make sure that the travel distance of your scan bed is equal to or more than your surface generation fixed length. Click on exposure to open the panel. Input your desired exposure in single exposure. Now you're ready to acquire scan data. If you are using encoder as a trigger, start your transport system movement Click Start Scanning. Ensure the distance of your transport system travel is equal to or more than the fixed length you set earlier. Turn off scanning when you are finished. If you are using time as a trigger, start your scan bed movement Click Start Scanning, then click the button again to stop at the end of the transport system travel. Ensure the distance your transport system travels is equal to, or more than, the fixed length you set earlier. You can save a recording by clicking on the record icon before you start scanning. Turn off record when you are finished by clicking the same button again. For further assistance, please contact support at lmi3d.com.